Education for life. Brain tofu. Scientific measurement. Scientists use the International System of Units to make measurements. The International System is abbreviated as SI units. This measurement system stands for the French. Le système international. <laughs> the SI units are almost the same as the metric system. The metric system is a decimal-based system, which means that everything is divided or multiplied by ten. Measuring distance. The meter is the basic unit for measuring distance. To visualize the distance of one meter, look no further than the door. Most doorknobs are about one meter up from the floor. If you divide a meter into ten equal parts, you now have decimeters. One decimeter equals one tenth of one meter, which is written as zero point one meter. To visualize a decimeter, you should think of a crayon. A new crayon is about a decimeter in length. If we divide a meter into one hundred equal parts, we now have centimeters. So one centimeter is equal to one one hundredth of a meter, which is written as zero point zero one meter. One one hundredth. For reference, most pencils are about one centimeter wide. If we divide a meter into even smaller equal parts, say one thousand equal parts, we then have millimeters. So one millimeter is equal to one one thousandth of a meter, which is written as zero point zero zero one meter, one one thousandth. And to help visualize a millimeter, look at a dime. The thickness of one dime is about one millimeter. Some cigarettes are called one hundredths because they are one hundred millimeters long. You can see how everything is measured by ten in the metric system. Ten millimeters equals one centimeter. Ten centimeters equals one decimeter. Ten decimeters equals one meter. For measurements longer than a meter, we also multiply or divide by ten. One decimeter equals ten meters. To help visualize this. A three-story building or a school bus is about one decimeter. If we multiply by ten again, we get one hectometer. One hectometer equals one hundred meters. An example of a hectometer is a football field or ten buses lined up end to end. Continuing on with our multiples of ten, we arrive at the almighty kilometer. One kilometer equals one thousand meters. An example of one kilometer. Would be three Empire State Buildings in New York. <laughs> three Empire State Buildings. You can see how the decimal system makes math a little easier. Ten meters equals one decimeter. Ten decimeters equals one hectometer. And ten hectometers equals one whopping kilometer. Measuring area. If the floor of your classroom was ten meters long. And ten meters wide, we could find the area. Ten meters times ten meters equals one hundred meters squared. The floor is a two-dimensional space, so the meters are squared. Now, if we wanted to measure the entire area of the classroom, we would need to include the height of the room. So, if the height were also ten meters, we would multiply ten meters times ten meters times ten meters, which is the length times the width times the height. Ten times ten equals one hundred. One hundred times ten equals one thousand. Meters times meters times meters equals meters cubed, and the room is a three-dimensional space, and that is why the meters are cubed. Measuring mass. Mass is the amount of matter that makes up an object. The metric unit for measuring mass is the kilogram. The smaller unit for mass is the gram. One gram is one one thousandth of a kilogram, which is written as zero point zero zero one kilogram. To understand what a gram is, think of a dollar bill. A dollar bill weighs about one gram. Measuring volume. Volume is space occupied by matter. The volume unit is the liter. Soda pop is often sold in one-liter bottles. Small volumes are measured in milliliters. One milliliter equals one one-thousandth liter. One milliliter. Is also equal to one centimeter cubed. Measuring density. Density is the amount of matter or mass in a volume. There is more mass in a cubic centimeter of gold than there is in a cubic centimeter of helium. And it just so happens 
that a cubic centimeter of water has a mass of exactly one gram. Measuring temperature. In the SI system of units for temperature, Kelvin is king. The lowest temperature possible for matter is zero degrees Kelvin. This is also known as absolute zero. Scientists use the Celsius scale as well as the Kelvin scale. Both scales are similar. Water freezes at 273 degrees on the Kelvin scale, while zero degrees on the Celsius scale. But each degree unit is the same amount. For example, if we go up 100 degrees on the Kelvin scale, we see that water boils. Likewise, if we go up 100 degrees on the Celsius scale, water also boils. There are a few more SI units of measurement. For measuring time, we use the second. For measuring light intensity, we use the candela. For measuring electricity, we use the amper. And for measuring the amount of particles in a chemical, we use the mole. Now you know how the metric system can measure distance, area, mass, volume, density, temperature, time, light, electricity, and particles. Terrific. Brain tofu.